Hello and welcome to this CADWIND tutorial video on part programs, the definition file, and how CADWIND works with your machine. The most common use for CADWIND is to make a part program which tells a filament winding machine exactly how it should move its moving parts in order to wind a certain pattern onto the mandrel. Many new customers are concerned that CADWIND will not be compatible with their particular machine controller and worry that the part program might not work. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate that CADWIND is compatible with almost any machine controller, as it has been designed to offer great flexibility in the format of the part program. We will start by looking at the flow of information from CADWIND to controller to part, and then look in detail at the definition of the part program format and the way CADWIND offers infinite flexibility using the definition file. I will take a moment to explain the flow of information typical to filament winding and very similar with all other CNC processes. This is for the benefit of those new to filament winding and the programming of CNC machines generally. Uh, if you are experienced with the programming of filament winding machines, you may want to skip ahead. Filament winding machines work by rotating a spindle and moving a carriage laterally at the same time. Some machines are able to make other movements also, like moving the cross carriage closer to the mandrel or further away. These are called the axes of motion. Each axis of motion is driven mechanically by a motor, and the motor is controlled by a computer, which we usually call the controller. But, the controller needs to know how to move to achieve the desired winding. This is the purpose of the part program. The part program is a set of instructions, or a plan, that tells the controller how to move and usually also tells it how fast to move. This is an example of a part program created by CADWIND. You can see that the part program is a simple text file. In this example, the part program is standard G-code format. This is the most common format and used by the majority of controllers, which is why I chose it. But CADWIND is able to create any other part program format, as we'll see a little later on. In this G-code format, the program is divided into a series of lines, or blocks. Each block has a block number, then a series of numbers preceded by letters. Each letter represents one of the axes. In this example, A is for the spindle rotation, and X is for the carriage motion. The F number represents the feed rate, or the speed that the machine should use for this particular block. So here, on line 20, the program is telling the controller to rotate the spindle by 18 degrees and to move the carriage in the positive direction by 46.8 millimeters. And it should do this at a feed rate or speed of 68,600 units per minute. Further down the program, at line number 120, you will notice that there are two more letters and numbers. That is because this part program is intended for a four axis winding machine and the Y and B numbers are for the motion of the cross carriage and payout head respectively. So, you can see that the part program is just a series of machine movements which CADWIND has calculated are necessary to achieve the desired winding pattern. If we switch back to the winding machine video, you can see how the machine controller takes the numbers from the part program and turns them into movements. Spindle rotation, and carriage motion. You can see that this machine also moves the cross carriage and rotates the payout head. So, how does CADWIND make the part program? The motions of the spindle, carriage, and other axes in the program are calculated by CADWIND based on the parameters entered for the mandrel geometry, the winding parameters, and to a lesser extent, the machine parameters and the post-processing parameters. This process is covered in other videos so we won't talk about it here. The formatting of the part program is what is important for the compatibility with any controller and is the focus of this video. This is determined by the definition file which is referenced by the machine parameters file. The definition file is accessed by clicking on the machine menu, then parameters, then the format tab. The definition file is a plan for the part program. 
It defines the detail of the formatting for every part of every line in the part program. Variables are used for any numbers that will change from program to program. For example, the spindle or mandrel rotation we saw earlier in the part program is represented here in the definition file by the variable MA. And you can see the MA has been replaced with a number in the part program here. Similarly, the carriage motion number is represented by the variable CA and replaced by numbers in the part program here. The feed rate is given here by this variable and replaced by the numbers here. This line in the definition file is repeated again and again for each block in the part program. If there is any aspect of the part program that is not compatible with your controller, you can change it here in the definition file. This is a very flexible and very powerful system that guarantees the CAD1 can be made compatible with almost any controller. It may look complicated to set up for beginners, but actually it is quite simple. CAD1 comes with the definition files for all the most commonly used controllers listed here on your screen. In many cases, the definition file provided will work straight away with your controller. If it doesn't, Usually it requires only a few minor changes to the definition file. The user manual, which comes with CADWIND, covers the definition file programming in detail and lists all the possible commands and variables that you can use in the definition file. We will also help new customers to set up their definition file free of charge within the first six months after purchase.